and welcome to installing SQL Server 2008 Part 3. As you can see, just continuing right where Part 2 ended, and it is in the process of installing the various pieces and parts necessary to make SQL Server behave. I don't know what these are, don't want to know what these are. I'm just looking to make sure that errors don't pop up. And as a matter of fact, at this point, I could go do something else with my time if I would like and just check back on this from time to time. But anyway, installation is proceeding smoothly. As you can see, the installation is progressing nicely. I am probably at about the 20 to 25 minute mark on this installation so far. Everything is proceeding very well. Just want to give you an estimate of what kind of time you're looking at here. As this goes on, let me just explain that if you should have a problem with the SQL installation, there are a number of log files out there that you can certainly go check. What I've always seen is if I simply uninstall anything that went on, or a lot of times just restart the server and go right back, everything seems to go away. I've, I've never had any kind of uh, serious problems with SQL Server 2008. Now, we'll tell you that if you're trying to install the developer edition or any of that kind of stuff on Windows 7, I've seen some problems with some test environments where people were trying to put these on Windows 7 where they're getting some bizarre error messages about the order of permissions, canonical errors. What you can do is just go in and change permissions on any user, on any item, and then shut down and restart the machine. And in some cases, or a lot of cases, that will correct the problem. Not sure exactly why, but that's just kind of a heads up if you're trying to work with this on Windows 7. And you get that error. If you do, obviously just go out to Google and search it. But that was one kind of bizarre fix that I have seen on this. So anyway, you'll notice the installation is continuing to go. We're now removing backup files, installing some best practices, things here. Okay, the installation has been running now for approximately... 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. And as you can see, we're kind of starting to wind down toward the end. A couple of things I want to point out to you about these installations on SQL Server. Microsoft is using imaging technology now to install their products. And on the same DVD for SQL Server 2008, you will see a single DVD for both the 32-bit and the 64-bit version. And it will generally detect what you're running and if you're running 64-bit, ask you. But both of those images are there, and if you watch right here as you're installing, you will see that it's applying an image or it's extracting an image. And so anyway, it's basically, again, using what we used to call things like Norton Ghost and that sort of thing to actually install those, and it does make it faster and much more efficient to push out a lot of information and get it just right than just building each individual file. So when you go out there to download a disk, just be aware you're going to see that you download the X386 and X64 as part of the same DVD. So that, don't let that surprise you or fool you. You can see the setup process is complete. It's indicating to me that we are successful in our database engine services, our management tools complete and basic, and our SQL Server books online. And so we click Next here. And it's telling me that we set up completely. There is a summary log that has been placed at this location. We can open it up. We can see all kind of information about what happened. And we can come back to this a little bit later on if we would like. And so what I will do now is close this, close my other windows on the installation. And notice if I go to Start and go to Programs, that I can see SQL Server 2008 and I can see all my various tools here and here's my management studio. We will take a look at that in a different video. So that's an installation on SQL Server start to finish. It took me on this machine about probably 35 minutes to complete but as you can see a couple of questions to ask. We will go over some other issues that you saw in there in some different videos to help you understand some of the choices that you need to make.